So how to fix your VPN? So instead of seeing speeds like this, just make one change to getting speeds like this. So literally just one change and you can see your VPN speed either double or treble what it was before. So IPVanish have now, as of December 2025, rolled out two very important features to the VPN. The first one, which I think is probably the main one, is they've now introduced RAM only servers. So what that basically means is these servers have no kind of physical storage, no hard drives, no SSDs, no any kind of storage. Everything is held just in RAM. So all of the transactions, all of the throughput, all of that's held in memory. And as you can imagine, as soon as that server is powered off, all of that information is then instantly lost. So really for somebody looking for maximum privacy, maximum security, I would recommend trying to find RAM only servers. Now, as an extra feature of that, I've also noticed better speeds on certain devices when using RAM only servers. Let's open that up. And if you stay to the end, I will show you two other features that not many people know, particularly for third party streaming applications, how you can utilize them inside your VPN. I'm doing this demonstration on my third generation Fire TV Cube, but as I'm sure you guys know, IPVanish is available for your Windows PCs, for Mac, for iPhone, for Android, for your tablets, Fire Sticks, Android TVs. All platforms are supported. And most importantly, just with a single account, you can install IPVanish on as many devices as you like. So that kind of flexibility really means every device in your house can be covered. Doesn't matter if you've got three Fire Sticks, two laptops, 10 Android TVs, all of them can be covered with a single account. Now, when you now go into the interface, if you go over to this icon here on the bottom left, let's click on that. And you can see now when I select a location, let's go to New York. Let's go to view servers. At the top now, it shows me all servers or if I'm interested in RAM only servers. So in this demonstration, let's click on RAM only. This will now filter out the list. You can see the icon then changes and you're now looking at RAM only servers. So again, for maximum performance and definitely for maximum privacy, RAM servers are the one and they're now expanding this in more regions, more locations. Eventually you'll have the option to do RAM only servers in all over the world. So in this demonstration, let's just click on uh, a random server. Let's give this one here. Give that a second. I'm now connected to that RAM only server. So that basically means now any application I try to use, any service, anything on my device, all of those things will now think I'm actually connecting from a server in New York. The easy way to demonstrate that if I press the home key, I can now start, for example, Netflix. And you can see now when I scroll through the library, scroll down, it's showing me top 10 series in USA today because again, because of my USA IP address, I've now completely unlocked that library, allowing me to access different libraries in Netflix. And of course, if I use a different location like Brazil, like Canada, like France, all over the world, all those regions have separate Netflix libraries and using a different IP address will allow you to unlock all of them. Let's back out of that. Now, the other main thing to check inside IPVanish is to make sure that you are using the WireGuard protocol. So in the beginning demonstration, when I did the speed test, I was using uh, OpenVPN. But if you go into the settings, let's click on that now. Now we can see here where it says protocol, I'm using WireGuard, which I found to be the fastest and most secure when doing anything inside the VPN. But if your device is configured to use OpenVPN or this one here, you may find much better speeds by using WireGuard. So it is worthwhile double checking that. Now, one of the extra features that not many people know is that the latest version of IPVanish does allow you to create shortcuts, as you can see here. Now, what this shortcut basically means that before I use this third party streaming application, I want to connect to a VPN server in New York. I know lots of you only stream these applications with the VPN connected. So really just to save yourself a click, you can now create shortcuts. So for this demonstration, let's create a new one. Let's click on add shortcut. So this is for example, before I start my favorite third party streaming application, I want to make sure that my VPN is connected to a server in the UK. For this demonstration, let's just use uh, this one over here. Let's click on that. And we can see we now have a new shortcut, which means the next time I click on that, it will automatically connect to a server, a VPN server in UK, and then go ahead and start the streaming application for me. And we can see on my device, when I do that, we can see it disconnects from where it was connected. It then connects to a UK server and then automatically launches this particular streaming application. And we see it's working absolutely fine. Let's back out of that. 
and we can see now back in the VPN, I've now made a connection to a UK server. So super easy to use. And again, for lots of you that only want to access streaming services with the VPN connected, you can now utilize these shortcuts. That's working great. Now, the other feature I want to mention before that not many people use is the split tunneling here. And what this basically means that even though your VPN is connected, any applications that are part of the split tunnel, they will bypass the VPN and go direct. So if I turn that on, I can now go to manage apps and I can now select any application that I want to bypass the VPN. So for this demonstration, let's say I never want to use a VPN for downloader. There we are. That's already selected. Let's back out of that. So downloader is now not included in the VPN tunnel. When I back out of this, if I now disconnect and reconnect, so my VPN is now connected to a server in New York. But if I now press the home key and open up downloader, downloader should go direct and bypass that VPN tunnel. So if I open that up, if I now do a quick test to see my VPN location, let's just use IP location. Let's click on the first one. And because of that split tunnel, if I now scroll down, this website is still telling me that I'm based in England. So even though my VPN is connected to a server in USA, because of that split tunnel, my downloader application is bypassing that and going direct. And you can use this for any of your third party applications, any application that you don't want to use a VPN, you can add that to the split tunnel and that way the application will always go direct. Certain IPTV applications and other applications, they never play nice when the VPN is connected. This way you can keep the VPN on and just for those applications which are a bit temperamental, you can quickly add them into the split tunnel, which means again, it will bypass that VPN tunnel. So that's cool guys, I think this new feature of having RAM only servers is a fantastic upgrade, something that everybody should be using if you are concerned about maximum privacy but it also gives you a good performance boost when using these RAM only servers. And I think it just adds to the great list of features that already IPVanish offer, including those unlimited devices, unlimited bandwidth, superb speed, clients available for all of your favorite platforms, and really just the best way to keep yourself protected and safe and secure in 2026. I've used IPVanish now for, I think just over five years. I have tried other VPNs in the past, like NordVPN, like Express, even Surfshark. They all have some good features, but overall, I always come back to IPVanish just because of the extensive list of great features and that consistent, dependable speed. So because of that, this is the only VPN I recommend. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer for December, January 2026. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.